Bottled water comes from many different sources, such as springs, artesian wells, and public water systems. Some people insist that bottled water that comes from public water systems is just the same as tap water in a bottle. They make it seem like it just comes from the hose, but that's not true. The process of producing bottled water using a public water system is more complicated than people realize. The final product is quite different than regular tap water. Let's go check it out and you can decide for yourself if it's just tap water in a bottle. municipal water that we bring into the plant is processed. That's why it's called the water processing area. Okay. Many, many processes involved in taking that municipal water and making it good water to put into a water bottle. And that's better explained by Renita Ward, our quality manager, so I'll right. let her explain that. Great. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, I just wanted to walk you through this is our water process area. Okay. This is kind of where all of the the water that we're bringing in um, with our drink water it comes in from the city first step is the water goes through some pre filters that we have here to kind of remove any type of particles that may be in the water we have a total of 48 membranes in each in these vessels here. The water starts going through the RO unit. It starts at the bottom in vessel one and it flows all the way up through vessel number 12. And in the reverse osmosis process, it's actually starting to remove some of the impurities that are in the tap water. But the 
bottles go through an air rinser system too that we use ionized air so that we make sure there's no foreign objects of any kind in the bottle prior to it being filled with water. So this is the water that Renita was just talking about, went through all of those water processes and it is then sent to this filler to fill the bottle. And right now it's running in slow motion. It runs, runs about 700 bottles a minute. They're cute size. <laughs> step in the process when they come out of the filler you see a camera flashing here that camera is uh, videoing the top of the bottle and it's checking to make sure that water is filled to the appropriate level that the cap is applied correctly okay. and that it has a cap on it if not it will reject it out of here oh. like that one just <laughs> that's the biggest fan I've ever seen after the bottles get their label, they move by conveyor down into our case packer. The bottles are like buffalo and we're all herding them in. <laughs> so much quieter in here and I love it. Basically, this is the finished product okay. called drinking water, okay? okay? Bring them in here. We have to wait till after a 24 period, 24 hour period. Mm -hmm. Then we come back in and then we write down the testing. So the day that this, this was packaged was 4, look like 12, yeah, 12. 4, 12, 11 at 12, 16. Okay. And then the expiration date is 4, 12, 13. And the number is D1 and that stands for the Douglas plant. And that was did on pet line one. Um, why is there an expiration date on water? It's a food product that helps with stock rotation. Okay. This is called a call alert 18, and this is what's checking for the um, E. coli okay. and the bacteria. That's, I open my bottle and I hold this cap, and then I just pour till I reach my 100 milliliter. So what I do, I open this up, I just pour it inside, I shake it up real good. 31. Okay. And get it temperatured a little bit. Once we do that, we just take it and it reaches up to 45. This will be the finished product. And when they're like this, that means there's negative. There's okay. nothing wrong with it. What what color does it turn when it's uh, I have a comparator uh, that I can show you the okay. way that uh, what we compare to it. But it's really dark. It's like a dark urine color, real dark. Okay. So that'll let you know if something is wrong with the water. All right. so, <laughs> this is how dark urine color yeah. does not sound pleasant. See, oh, this okay. is a good one, and this is one, this is a comparator. Oh, it's so like if wine. it's darker than this, <laughs> if it's darker than this, that means it's something wrong with this. If this is darker than this, then it's something wrong with this. Okay. So if it is, then we're going to go back and pull the samples and we're going to retest it to make sure there's nothing wrong. Okay. That definitely doesn't taste like tap water to me. Thanks so much for the tour of your plant. It's a pleasure having you here. Thanks for coming. Thank you. One more thing, can I get a job application? Well sure you can, here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>